Yeah, all right, lads. So today we're going to be viewing informed Kevin Camero of Sevilla in La Liga BBVA. He's five foot ten tall, right foot. He's got medium medium work rate to three star weak foot and three star skills. His price ranges are currently nine point nine k to one hundred and ten k. That is on Xbox and PlayStation as well. So looking at his in games, he stands out to his eighty nine attack positioning, eighty seven agility, eighty six finishing, eighty four acceleration, and eighty four jumping. We have also included all the upgrades over his non inform as a comparison, like we always do, so you can compare between the two. So you can always pause it if you want a close look at any of these stats. So this is the team we're using him in a four three one two BBVA side with Inform Gamero up top at left striker. So now into the game later, you can see how he was performing for me. Now, Gamero's inform card does look pretty solid. He's got those three key stats, that pace dribbling and shooting, all in the 80s. And in-game, he does handle pretty damn well. Now, his dribbling's not amazing. I think it's only 75, but he does have great agility and balance on him. So you can use that to avoid the defenders. You can actually use it to hold up possession as well in midfield. Does hold on to the ball quite well, but he isn't that strong. So try and avoid much contact contact uh, stronger defenders are going to be able to push him off the ball now pace wise top speed it's all right but his acceleration is actually very good so throw in plenty of stop start dribbling and skill dribbles trying to burst away from defenders try and use that acceleration to get past get those gaps and when he does get a chance he does actually have some nice finishing on him 86 finishing and he can actually get you some nice goals really pretty prolific in that box really didn't let me down a, a lot when he get his chance he really did uh, take him pretty well and he did get this lovely free kick as well 32 yards out just hits it and it's straight curling into the top corner now Gamero was automatically set on my free kicks as your informs normally are only afterwards I realized they actually went and checked his in games and he only does have 70 free kick accuracy so that was a cracking effort for 70 free kick accuracy probably was a bit of a fluke to be honest as well but nonetheless I'll take it great free kick from Gamero now Gamero does actually have some decent passing on him as well but he does have medium medium work rates which I really don't like on a forward but luckily he does have 89 attack positioning so it does help counter his work rate slightly does uh, make himself available in some decent positions up top so let's have a look at Infon Gamero's performance stats from so his five games he did manage to bang in six goals did get two assists for his troubles as well all stats are on the left hand side the all goal information is on the right that position map bottom right does show you goal scored and assist created as well so overall, we're going to give Infon Gamero a good 8.5 out of 10. Really, really solid striker with good pace dribbling and shooting ability. Does have a decent passing game as well for a striker. So it could be a good shout for a centre forward role. Maybe if you want to play him as a false nine. And he was actually not that bad in the air as well. He's only 5'10", so he's not massive. But he does have 84 jumping. And he did manage to get up at the back post to head home this goal. So not too bad all round. Bit of an aerial threat. Nothing major real wise obviously he's not got the height but up front does make a nice nice solid striker so finally we're just going to leave you with Infran Gamero's positive negatives to look at now his only real main negative for me was those work rates I really would prefer high medium or, or maybe a medium low on a striker and his strength didn't feel all that great but other than that everything was fine on Gamero Three star weak foot, three star skills, they are manageable, didn't do uh, too bad either way and he's pretty well rounded for a striker with that passing ability, really does uh, make him a decent player up top. He's dropping a lot as well price wise, currently around 20k, I pay 25k so that is a decent price for him, if you can get him any lower, say under 15, I'd say definitely go for it, definitely worth it, give him a chance in a BBVA side or you can put him in a French national side as well, I'm sure he'll do a good job for you up front. So please smash a like if you do enjoy the video, it really does help out a lot, and please subscribe if you're new to the channel, loads more in-depth reviews coming up and in-depth squad builders, so stay tuned for them, thanks a lot for watching lads, I really do appreciate y'all uh, leaving comments and leaving those likes, so cheers lads, see you later.